Hi, my name is Shannon Oliver, and I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas. I always considered myself a romantic until I met my husband, because he's always trumping me with sweet little gestures, leaving me cards in my bag if I go out of town. I feel extremely lucky and blessed. He understands me and still loves me, and that's probably <laughs> the best thing about him. My very first role was Maid in Waiting in The Wizard of Oz. You probably don't recognize that role from the movie, because they gave everyone who auditioned a part most of which they had to make up because there were so many of us who wanted to be in the play. I know that I'm not perfect. I know I have a lot of faults, but I love to grow. I love working through the creative process to really nail it. And I love that acting exposes you to so many different things. You learn about different cultures. You learn about different emotions, different things people have gone through. And I don't think that you would ever experience that otherwise. I was one of these. I worked at car shows. <laughs> Sometimes I would get up there as Shannon Oliver. Sometimes I would get up there as Mary Jane from Texas. I did a count once and I think I was up to about 17 Shannon Olivers. I have a lot of empathy for people. I read a role and if someone's mother just passed away, like I can imagine what that would feel like. It's a bad thing because when I'm watching the American Express commercial and someone gets a package in the mail from their sister from overseas and they start crying, I start crying. <laughs> when I was going through the whole process of getting married, I had so many people come up to me and they were like, wow, you're not even stressed and you're getting married in like two months? Came down to the count and I turned into Bridezilla. I have an 11 year old Weimariner who has truly been like my child. I just adopted a five month old Weimariner mix and he is also adorable and a total disaster. I love my new puppy. His name is Stanley. The only thing that I'm good at athletically is watching it on TV. When I was in the sixth grade, I went to watch a basketball game, tripped going up the bleachers, hit one of the practice basketball goals that they hadn't raised, busted my head open. The rumor around school was that I died in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. I'm a really boring person. I don't speak any languages. I don't sing. I don't dance. I didn't grow up on a horse farm, although I did take horseback riding lessons as a child. I even got camper of the week. Cow is what they called it. <laughs> I think that I could be funny, but I'm not really that funny all the time. And I'm just in awe of people who just can keep other people entertained with humor. I think that's such a great quality. One that I wish I had. Will Ferrell cracks me up. Like his physical comedy, his facial expressions. That guy is hilarious. I got so excited whenever the book fair would come into town to read about these two girls who were going through things that maybe I was just starting to go through. From that point forward, I fell in love with reading. My sister and I are definitely getting closer, especially now that I've gotten married. She's reaching out to me more and it's great because I think that we realize we're the only sister that each other has. I think all in all, like me getting married has brought my whole family closer together. So I can't complain.